Welcome to the course on computer organization. Today's lecture is on how to represent a boolean function in sum of min terms. In the previous lecture, we have taken a boolean function f is equal to a b c plus a b c dash plus a a dash c. So this function is composed of three variables a b c so each term we should see in such a way that each term should have all the variables so if you see the first term it is having three variables so you can copy it as it is second term is also having three variables either in normal form or complement form so we can but coming to the third term we are having the missing variable b so what we will do means we can represent something like this b plus b dash so we can write the term a dash c as a dash c dot b plus b dash please refer the identities of boolean algebra in my previous lecture so when i write this i will get the terms which is having all the three variables so a dash b c plus a dash please apply the distributive property here a dash b dash c so now the same function is represented like this but here we are having all the terms with all the variables so this is having three variables three variables three variables so what we will do means this boolean function it will be one if any one of the terms are one so what we will do means in sum of min terms sum of what is the decimal value corresponding to abc 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 means since they are in normal form you can assume as 111 so 7 corresponding to this what is the decimal form 110 say for example if you write as uh, 421 this form so the weights as uh, 4 to 1 if you give weight 1 to uh, uh, if you give weight c as 1 and b as weight 2 and a as weight 4 means the corresponding decimal representation is 110 means 6 comma for a dash b c for a dash b c what we will get a dash b c it will be 0 and b c will be 1 and then you will have something like this a dash b dash c means 0 0 1 and c is having a weight of 1 so the decimal value is 1 so if you rearrange it 1 3 6 7 is another notation for this this is what we call as sum of min terms similarly for any function we will represent the boolean function like this thank you one and all